This is Peter with KRS.net, a video three of the six part series doing a keyboard review. Um, we're partnered with Gizmodo.com and GSM Arena today to bring you swipe invites to make sure that if you've seen that video and you want an invite to the beta that you go to our website for more details or one of their websites for more details. Um, in all in all of our videos, we're going to go into the settings first. So this video is going to be uh, reviewing the better keyboard. Uh, it is, I believe, $299 on the Android market. Uh, let's go into the settings first. Um, as you can see in the first part, it's pretty standard. You have your language settings of uh, the dictionaries, what language packs you have, uh, what input languages. Again, on the speech input settings, you have your voice input, show suggestions. Um, continue it until you cancel, auto punctuation, that kind of stuff. Uh, word suggestion, again, pretty standard stuff. Let's go keep going. Um, Autocomplete, keyboard click sound. Let's turn this off. Oh. Let's see if we can turn that off. There you go, sound on key press, vibrate on key press. So let's turn both of those off so that it's not just clicking constantly for you guys. Auto capitalization is on, multi tap is on, predictive search. Um, all these other keyboards at the bottom. With better keyboard, you can swipe to different keyboards. So if you're used to T9 or you love T9, or you're used to the 1337 keyboard, you can use that, otherwise known as the Elite keyboard. Um, and then up down gestures and left right gestures are enabled as well as touch points. You can kind of keep track of where you're touching and kind of see where the key, where the screen, excuse me, is keeping track of your touches. So let's go back then. Uh, again, all these settings are going to be enabled for the test. And we are running a Samsung Captivate with AT&T. And let's go back to our messaging to test it out. Again, with all of our videos, we are testing the Guinness World Record uh, phrase for texting the razor tooth piranhas of the genera Cerasalmus and Pygocentris are the most ferocious freshwater fish in the world. In reality, they seldom attack a human. Uh, this phrase is currently being used to test the Guinness World Record for texting speeds. And in each keyboard review that we're doing today, we've already typed that paragraph in three times so that the keyboard can get used to those words and our typing style. So when we go to type that out on the better keyboard, uh, that paragraph is going to be based on uh, your typing styles that are saved in each individual keyboard. And then second, we've come up with our own paragraph. Hi, how are you today? I'm going to the grocery store later today. Do you need me to pick up anything? Dinner is at 5. So that one we have never typed before, so you guys can kind of see what typing on this keyboard is like in an everyday situation. So let's jump into the messaging app. We're going to first change our input. So you just hold long hold, go to input method, go down to better. It does it on its own. So first off, let's cover gestures. So gestures, again, I enable up and down. So scrolling up and down is going to enables um, the keyboard hide and show. Again, it's, you can do that just by pushing the back button or clicking type to compose, just a kind of extra little feature. So let's see what swiping to the left gives us. So swiping to the left is going to give you your number pad. Uh, you can either hold down for alternative symbols or do alt for the symbols that are above the other symbols and even more. You can hold down the alt um, to do that to do your little green light to lock it in. Um, uh, you can swipe to the left again to go to ABC. Again, swiping to the left and then swiping to the right. Come on. Gets you back to your, num gets back to your regular standard ABC keyboard. So keep in mind that there's three keyboards. There's one to the right, one to the left, but no matter what keyboard you're on except for the center one, they do not wrap around. So once you're on the left one, swiping to the left or right, regardless, gets you back to your home keyboard. So let's swipe to the right. So this is going to be a BlackBerry-esque keyboard. Um, it is X19, so you can hold down and disengage, or XT9, excuse me, so you can hold to engage that or not. That is also in the options. Again, swiping to the right or left gets you back to your main screen. As you can see, this has voice input, so let's try that out. It's pretty standard, but just to show you. My name is Peter. 
Okay, so it caught the end of my other sentence and the start of this sentence. What's nice about Better Keyboard is it shows you all the variations of um, what you said, so it doesn't just automatically put the text in. You can actually see what else you can put in. Again, scrolling features on that. You can retry, you can cancel. For this instance, we're going to cancel. So, um, going back to our Guinness Book of World Record phrase, let's start just typing in the first half, get to the big uh, genera words of the the classification of the fish just to kind of show you because the rest of it's again pretty similar. So let's uh, start off. Again, those blue dots are where you're typing. It has the same uh, auto completion if you click on the orange highlighted word. If you click on the question mark, it auto inserts one plus a space. So keep that in mind. Um, it's going to have the same features where if you push a period, a space, or a comma when typing a word, it auto complete when you when you're typing a word and the right one is highlighted, so let's show you what that looks like. So again, with the other ones, let's not lock it in. Oh. TH is going to highlight the, and if I push space, comma, or period, it's going to type in the and then insert those, quote, in, insert those punctuation marks afterwards. So let's get on with the review. So the razor, again, after I typed in R-A-Z-O, it shows my razor tooth. I'm going to push a space and it's going to auto insert that plus a space. And let's keep going. Of the genera. Of the genera, Sarah. Just like with the standard 2.1 keyboard, you do not need to push shift to get capital word auto completion. This one is, or sorry to get capitalization on suggestions, this one, since I've always typed in Sarah Samos, so the capital is going to give me that as a suggestion. So that's what it's like for phrases and paragraphs that you've typed in before. So let's get into our uh, fresh sentence. Let's hold down, select it all, go to backspace. So um, as I'm typing this in, I'll kind of bring the keyboard up to the to the camera as much as possible so you guys can see. I'll kind of hold it as an angle. Again, the lighting in here is kind of weird, so I'll try my best to show you what it's going to be like as you type. And let's jump into it. So, so hi, I see it completed, so I do my comma. Again, if you were to go back and do, let's try this again, so H-I, and then do a space and then push a comma. It inserts it plus a space. That's so kind of like a quick tip for that. So let's keep going. How are you today? We're going to go in, put in our question mark, go back. I'm going. Uh, Again, just kind of showing you. As you guys can see, there's a lot of blue dots on the keyboard. That's where I'm pushing, um, and that's why I push on the keys. Going to the grocery store later today. Put in my period. Do you need? Sorry, don't need to be saying it out loud. Try to keep quiet to keep this as minimal annoying as possible to keep the annoying level down. Again, you can go to your one, two, three at the bottom left, or you can swipe to the right, put it in, swipe back. Uh, they also do, what's nice about Better Keyboard is it does punctuation suggestions at the top after each word if you uh, put in a space, so that's kind of convenient as well. And we can go to our numbers. Dinner is at five, period, and done. So again, this is Better Keyboard. I believe it's available for $2.99 on the Android market. And this is video three of six in a series that Keras.net is doing on keyboard reviews. Uh, go there to see that we're partnered with Gizmodo.com and GSMarena.com today to bring you this article and also give you guys a preview of Swipe. We have some beta invites to get out. Uh, check the article. Uh, for the contest rules on that, and again, this is Better Keyboard, and I'm Peter Schmitz with CareAce.net. Thanks.